You know, a lot of people have these cars as daily drivers and that's what I like about them. Underneath this car, the great thing about it is unlike Volkswagens or Chevrolets from the era, it has four wheel disc brakes. It has independent suspension on all four wheels. It has power steering. It has actual comfortable seats that engage lumbar support. These cars were probably some of the best cars ever made and we don't even realize it. So the engineers didn't realize that these cars were gonna be on the road this long. So they actually over-engineered them. It's always been the car in the family where everybody could use and if their car broke down, but guess what? The Mercedes was always on the road. Mercedes-Benz, the name says a lot. It denotes the inventors of the first car, the people who made the motor car a useful vehicle for everyday life. Well, Mercedes has always been at the forefront of modern technology, whether it was the development of the diesel engine in 1936 or the development of anti-lock brakes at the end of the 1970s. They always seem to know what people need in a car and they always seem to be able to develop it. It's a beautiful car, great engineering, great workmanship. It's Mercedes, what else do you expect? My father taught me so much about these cars that I didn't even know he was teaching me at the time because when one's mind is young, it absorbs so much. Well, the thing with the Mercedes brand, you have a lot of followers worldwide, especially even outside the U.S. If you think there's a lot of enthusiasts here in the U.S., imagine outside the U.S. There's thousands. Uh, and is this your first Mercedes? No, this is my third Mercedes. I grew up... Uh, I was born in Germany and I learned how to drive in a Mercedes. This was my first Mercedes when I moved to Florida. I've always owned a Mercedes since I was a kid. And everyone has the same common denominator, passion. There came about a fondness for these cars that is just so hard to put into words that all I can say is that it is in my blood. It's a part of me. I have always loved older Mercedes because I grew up around them. I have never been able to resist the pull of one. The cars, these cars elicit a pull for me that is almost magnetic. Even if the car's in the garage and the garage is closed, if I drive by the house, I know that there's a, I know that there's something in there. Handles like a cloud, it's beautiful. Any parting words you care about, say about Mercedes cars? It's probably the only thing I'll ever drive again. And how come? I love them.